It's been a long time since I checked in and so much has happened this year. I am still pursuing theater. That's cool. It's been a little bit more challenging just with the whole industry. I guess you could say that my acting career has taken a real detour. <laughs> That's kind of why I'm glad I got my MFA, because I'm too in the hole to abandon ship. <laughs> $180,000 in the hole. But ultimately, the skills that I learned in grad school are skills that I still use to this day. The reality is, this is a hard time for everybody, not just actors. And no matter how crazy this world gets, no one can take away the good memories that I made at UC Santa Cruz, one of the top MFA acting conservatories. Over 700 people applied, and only 26 of us got in. You know, they used to call us the Unbreakable 26. Uh, actually, I think we made up that nickname. I miss them, and think of them often. L luckily, I've been a part of that core acting class, and now we just meet on Zoom, and it's really fun. Fuck you. You broke my heart. <clears throat> it's harder to connect. Z Zap. 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 Pa partly because of technology, and partly because I don't think I have a secure internet connection. I I'm hearing the audio, but I can't actually see... Yeah. Yeah, I lost them. Also, for some reason, my acting class is more expensive now. <laughs> that don't make a whole lot of sense, because we don't have a physical location, but I don't want to make waves. Still, still doing Postmates, and you know, for a while, when the pandemic started, the tips were actually quite huge. <laughs> now people have gone back to regular tips, or you know, no tip at all kind of forget once they close the app and their food came, which is not super convenient for me and the, the rest of the delivery people, but uh, you know, it's good, it's fun, gets me out of the house. Every now and then I get a, an audition for film, you know, nothing huge, but you know, this, this student thesis film. Hi, my name's Aaron, I'm five foot ten, and I'll be reading for the role of neighbor. Damn, get off my property! But there's still some good things that have come out of it. I got this free turtle on Craigslist. Her name's Annabelle and she's 51. Hey, I think it's frozen. Can you guys hear me? Hey, yeah? Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Alright, well I'm logging out then. If you guys can hear me, I'm logging out. I'll see you guys next week. And even though it's been a hard year, I'm happy and grateful. And to be honest, I'm really hopeful that the universe has brought me to you. Okay, well, sir, you know, in establishing unemployment benefits, it's not really necessary to get into all the, you know, the personal details. We're just going to go through your income and see if you qualify. And, you know, looking at it, I, I don't think you do. <sighs> yeah, really? Oh, that, yeah, that stinks. But that's okay. No, I, well, it's out I'm of your seeing head. that you made $13,000 in 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The pandemic, it, it hit me pretty hard. You know what I mean? You were making even less the year before. 2019, it says you made $9,000. And, you know, I just have to ask, how, how do you live off that? Well, the truth is, you know, when you have a big imagination and an old book of checkoff plays lying around, you can entertain yourself for hours. <laughs> That's definitely something I walked away from grad school. I went to one of the the most competitive grad schools for MFAs and no no you meant you mentioned that um, literally like hundreds of people applied they only accepted 26 of us yeah um but what I'm seeing is that with the unemployment during the pandemic you were actually making 
you know, more money, right? Yeah, you know, I, I guess now that you say that, Postmates had really picked up and, uh, and yeah, I, I won't lie that unemployment benefits really helped, you know, like got my income up there and that $1,200 cash check from Donald Trump, that lasted me like three months. You know, now there's talk of them shaving off some student loan money. It, can you verify any of that? <laughs> I wouldn't hate that because, you know, from when I went to uh, grad school, I had $180,000 of debt, you know? I'm kind of over, over here thinking, damn, I wasted 180 grand studying something that you can't even make money off of. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure it will. Here's the deal. I, um, you've exhausted your EDD, okay? And I can't give you what you were getting before. But I can give you 65 a week. A week? Some people criticize you when you follow your dreams, but at the end of the day, what's really important? I mean, take me for example. You know, I'm not super successful, rich, or famous, but you could never say that I'm not happy.